A very good day to you. Welcome to Amin Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Jadel Kabir. Excited to be here for a political conversation, a conversation that I hope will make our leaders make better policy decisions and informed political moves. These conversations, of course, are very simple, truthful, and biased. With Amin Manyora, who puts them across in a hard-hitting way. How are you doing today? Good. We're looking at a time in this country where Kenya Kwanzaa are all about unity. Mount Kenya speaking about unity, Western region speaking about unity. I want us to talk about what is ailing Kenya Kwanzaa now and why they are all thinking that, well, they're not as united as they should be. Musalia Mudava, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, says, Wacheni vitina, kila saa mweta, kila saa mudavadi. Kila saa weta, kila saa mudavadi. What is happening first from your block? Is Malala that much of a troublemaker in that side? Of course, he has not hidden it. He has referred to ANC headed by Mdavadi as a kiosk, Ford Kenya or Fort Angola, a kiosk, and he has asked them to fall. The kiosk and mm? be, 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 be tributaries mm. to the big river, which is the UDA. Mm. Yeah. Is this shameful when you look at him talking to these principles instead of, you know, William Ruto, uh, another principle, to at least talk to them instead of Malala out in the ground? Yeah, I've told Malala is a young man and his bad manners. He must respect Watangula and Mdabadi as his seniors. Hmm. Yeah, if you also want to be respected when you grow up, you must respect your elders. Mm -hmm. These are more seasoned politicians. They have seen a lot. Mm -hmm. They understand things that you can't understand now. Yeah. Uh, but then there is a feeling that Malala is, is just a dog barking, but the owner is behind it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and who is this owner, <laughs> if, you, if you can let and us And people know. have not even hidden, they say uh, it is Rig G. Okay. Yeah, that's what people say. It's even in the media everywhere. Mm. So I'm, I'm not saying it. How but so it's quite possible. Mm. Uh, you know, Mdabade and Wetangula support the Ruto. Five years is to create a, you can create a very powerful man. Mm. So if you leave Mdabadi and Wetangula on their own mm. and occupying these powerful offices, mm. Speaker Wetangula can give a lot of favors to MPs from Western, mm. international trips, what have you, what have you. Mdabadi has, yeah, I don't know what they call principal, but you prime cabinet yeah. something. Yeah. It's also a powerful office. You'll get money, you'll get things. And uh, they could get to 2027 when they are so strong, they want you to kneel down before they support you. So you, you dewing them, mm. you cup. Cut the wings, dog. You know, when you say a dog barking and we know the owner, Rigadi Gashagwa, mm. if he is, does this indirectly imply that President William Ruto is in this politics because he's the one from UDA to vie in 2027 if the talks of supporting him till 2032 are to go by? You know, you know, in politics, four years is a long time. It's a long time. There can be no guarantee that... Uh, Mdabada and Wetangula will necessarily back mm. Ruto in 2017. There's even no guarantee that Rugadi can back Ruto. He may choose to run on his own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so you, 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 you play smart. Mm. You don't leave anything to chance. So if, if you talk about unity, uh, Malala is saying this is hypocrisy. You say you're supporting Ruto and you have your parties. Yes. What is the best way to move forward for the Mulembe nation when it comes to unifying that block? I have advised them, but they don't hear. I've told them, if they want presidents, they'll get in 2027. Mm. It will not be very far. If they stand with Angula, Dabadi, and they come as one unit, uh, forget their small parties, have come up with a powerful vehicle, get friends from Coast, get friends from Kisi, get friends from elsewhere. And they could have the numbers because you can't guarantee root of support from Mount Kenya. Mm. When that Mount Kenya support is weakened, then Ruto is in trouble. Okay. Yeah. You only need one man. But some of the men I've been mentioning, they are cowards, they, they are not men. Mm. And the Kikuyus have this tendency to look for a man. So these people who are these wannabes, I now call them wannabes, because some of them had, have very serious chances of s getting the mountain from Ruto mm. and running away with it. Mm. But uh, a few of them are my friends, uh, one or two, uh, but... Uh, but that possibility is there. When, when you talk about this weak man, are you talking about the likes of uh, the former governors like Mwangi Wairia, you know, uh, Moses Kuria? Uh, Mwangi Wairia is not, is, not, is, not, is not a weak man. That's a very powerful man. But you see, the stars would not align themselves for him. He's still 
that ball is too high for him. Mm. I'm talking about people who have really chance and they come from there. There are people like Jimmy Wanjiga, they have a really chance, serious chance. People like Mother Karua, uh, uh, you know, people in that, with that stature, people like Afogo, mm. people with serious, they can move the mountain from Ruto. Mm. It's possible. Flying to Mount Kenya from Western, uh, this is regarding Ashagwa says, Moses Kuria, where will he go? We appointed him, he's our son, he's going to stick in our cabinet. Uh, this move from regarding Ashagwa, embracing Moses Kuria, showing that he is the leader there, how would you assess that move instead of fighting him? Yeah, somebody sent me on, on my, my ex or Twitter account, say, hey, this guy has, has followed your advice. Yeah. To the end. You told him to trade carefully. Oh, he, he's now gotten it right. Mm. Let touch Moses Kuria. And then he's removed from cabinet. My friend, you can have trouble. Okay. He'll join. There are many people who don't like Rigiji, many of these leaders. Mm. Even Nini Nyoro, Shunga, they are not, they are also ambitious. Mm. So if they are joined by Kuria, but the more dangerous thing is if Kuria joined Mother Karua. Mm. Hey, that can also be big. You can, you're bringing Martha Karua in this conversation once again. You know what happened last year. Mm. <laughs> she was supposed to be the Iron Lady, the mobilizer. But what happened? You know, sometimes, forget about stealing an election if it happened. You think the votes Raila got from Mount Kenya without Uhuru, Uhuru and, uh, and uh, Martha. Martha, he would have gotten almost a million votes. Mm. Oh. I know he will say I got them because people love me. Yeah, but... Just like if you see somebody get a job, they, they, well, they say, I really performed well during the interview. Uh, <laughs> that's why they give you the job. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's possible. All these people can carry the day. Mm. You know, the president will have to do something drastic mm. to win the confidence of more than 50% of this country. Okay. Yeah. So if that doesn't, if that doesn't work, if he remains leader of a country that is on edge the suffering and the pain people are going through mm. even the kikuyus are going through and therefore much as they will still support him mm. it will it will be minus excitement of 2022 of last year you know it and it will also create room for a new person to come he may that person may not necessarily get all the kikuyu votes but all he needs to get is like two million and mm. Ruto is cooked. I think that bad in Mount Kenya, Rigadi Gashago was telling them, look, don't be the first one to throw stones at us. Yes. You know, you elected us. This is our government. Does this show that there is something wrong, even at Ruto's block? Even, even Gashago knows. They have shown to change people. He knows. He knows they have shown to change people. The things he talked about, revival, coffee, tea, milk, but I can now see everything has gone down. Milk is not where it was. It's gone down. Tea is not where it was gone down. Coffee has collapsed completely. And he has given up. He is saying we shall, we shall work on tea and milk. <laughs> because the approach was wrong. These are guys who have been there for 40, 50 years in this sector. And they are billionaires. They, when you talk, they just watch you. Yeah, in the coffee sector. You can't manage them by talking on the platform. You, yeah. sit, you sit down with them, figure out how to establish a middle ground. Mm. He thought he would come like a fool. He has not succeeded. Then what does this mean for Kenya Kwanzaa? You know, they are trying to unify their people. Of course, you are saying they are failing. Where, where did things go wrong? For, was it from the beginning or is, no. is it now that the realization is that things are, are not working? You know, Ruto minus Mount Kenya would not have happened in 2022. So naturally, the Kikuyus, and the, you can see things floating out on, <coughs> on social media platforms. Mm. Uh, what each county of Mount Kenya gave Ruto. Mm. And those votes get almost somewhere near 50% of Ruto's votes. Mm. That tells you they must have been uh, supporting with expectations. And that expectation to me, in fact, has moved to the level of entitlement. Mm. So when new people came in like Mdabadi, Kingi, Wetangula, the, the people of Mount Kenya were a little apprehensive. Hmm. It did look at some point that they were not even guaranteed the running mat. But after even getting the run, running mat, as government was being formed, the people like Ashago, I'm sure, I don't know, but I'm sure he, he was not comfortable with this idea of Mdabadi becoming something. Hmm. And they have shown it even in meetings. Uh, you can see there's something. So the Mount Kenya will continue being the way it is because Gashagwa has not taken that space that was being occupied by Uhuru Kenyatta.
Mm. So it is shaky, Mount Kenya is shaky. So, I'm telling you 2027 for Mount Kenya, Ruto will have to be very careful. Uh, Even if he's going to shuffle his cabinet, hey, you must know how to do it. So you're saying there's more or less a vacuum in Mount Kenya yes. that hasn't been fully occupied? And that's why people are, you know, dancing around the, si the seat. Mm. Yeah, so. What is Ruto's best move? Because it seems like it's regarding Ashago who's spoiling the unity in uh, Kenya Kwanzaa. And also, how will this affect leadership, not just the political side of it? You know, you know at some point, Ruto might be forced to to buy the bullet and deal with the Gashagwa. It can't go on like this for long. I'm telling you the leaders against Gashagwa and Mount Kenya are serious people. Some of them with the potential for presidency within Kenya Kwanzaa. People like Ndini Nyoro, they may, they may be young, but they have potentials for, for big things. Mm. Uh, but you see, I think Gashagwa has now realized, he's begun to turn down. Mm. He, if you could say about Moses Kuria, what he has said, Mm. It shows he's, he has realized he's not indispensable. Mm. He's not. He's not. People are saying Kiambu has produced a president, for example. Two. Yeah. Nyeri has produced one. It's time for Muranga. So Ndindi Nyoro starts with a very serious push for, for presidency. But obviously he doesn't have So if he's given running mate position, uh. Ruto may lose very little from Mount Kenya. Oh, seriously? Yeah. You know, Geshagwa is a very good man, he's pushy, he's a fighter, he's a general, but he doesn't know how to use soft power, mm. which is mingling in our mama kidogo, mm. kanisa kanisa nini hapa, mm. which kinandini nyoro no vero and is shungwa. Mm. Yeah. All right. So Ruta can look around and say, okay, I'm not ready to face voters without Mount Kenya, but I'm, I don't want the guys, Geshagwa. Pop, nini nyoro. He will lose nothing. How do you solve though these divisions in the top leadership part of it? Moses Wetangula, uh, Musalia Mudava, Dirigadi Gashagwa. It seems like Malala is coming up on top. He's even sitting in cabinet meetings. How would you solve this if, if you are the president and you're trying to bring, bring a, unif a united front in 2027? First, you don't antagonize people who can give you trouble. Hmm. So you don't antagonize Moses, Kuria and the rest. Huh? And this you do by sitting down with your DP, with your deputy, and tell him, hey, apa, apa, no. Then when you come to Western, you must put a stop to the nonsense coming from Malala. So you, you remain with Mdavadi and Watangula on your side. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anything, if you, if you try anything radical, like saying you want to toss the Giji out of the window, mm. It may also have, it may boomerang on you. Where, where do you think, though, Rigadi Gashagwa is so adamant in maintaining his position as the second in command and taking leadership of uh, all these regions? As you know, he feels he's the major shareholder. I mean, Gashagwa has never hidden it. He said in public, mm. they are the major shareholders in the, country, in the government. He even said that this weekend, too. Yeah. I mean, they, they are saying without us, there would be no root of president. Mm. And they're not even hiding it. Then is this a dangerous man to be close to? Of if course, every really politician is dangerous. Every political friend and foe you have has the capacity to drive a dagger through your body up to the heart and you die. Any one of them, any, any day. Mm. Yeah. So it's not just, not just Thomas Sankara and this stupid man called Kampo, whatever it is. Uh, it's not just Kabila with the, sec with the, with the security. Mm. It's not just Indira Gandhi with the sick guards she loved so much. No. When you are in politics, anybody close to you, including mm. your own son, mm. can put you down. Is this something you're telling William Ruto to be careful with? No, he knows. Uh, he, he knows. If he didn't know, then, then, then I would be very shocked. He, he knows. Mm. I'm telling you, Gashakwa can run in 2027. And everything we are seeing that now is showing that this can actually happen. Yeah. He can run, and he has a very good chance. Mundawadi and Gashago, even the first Ruto, <laughs> they have a good chance. All right. Conversation on unification of Kenya Kwanzaa. Regadi Gashagwa can run in 2027. Ruto should tread carefully. Until we do talk again, have yourself a lovely rest of your day.